So my name is Diana and I'm a registered nurse and the topic I'm going to discuss today is sunscreen and how much is enough and is it being applied right and I got inspiration for this little segment because every time I go on vacation I am a chronic people watcher I love to watch other people I see these women sitting next to me and they pull out these expensive sunblocks brand names makeup counter you know high-end department store sunscreens they pump out two pumps do this, hit their face, hit the tops of their legs, and then immediately walk into the water. And then as we're going up back to the hotel, it's about that time for everybody to leave, start getting ready for dinner, things of that nature. We're in the elevator, and then you hear these women making these comments about, oh my gosh, I got so red. You know, I got the best sunblock ever, but it, the sun here is just so intense, I don't even think that helps. And it's not that the sunscreen failed, it's that it just was not properly applied and the proper amount was not applied. Because as soon as these women walked into the water, you could just see this little oil slick of their sunscreen immediately washing off their body. So how much is enough? Well, when you look at the um, recommendations for the uh, Skin Cancer Society, the size or dollop, the size of a nickel, is the amount that you need to put on your face. And this needs to completely cover your face. And think of your ears, your nose, your chin, uh, your cheeks, the areas that the sun are going to, you know, hit the most intensely. And most people tend to forget about the ears because they don't necessarily think about that as the face. And make sure you get behind the ears too, especially if you have your hair in a ponytail or men who have short hair or are wearing caps all the time because the baseball caps do not cover the ears. And then for women too, you know, you think, oh, you just kind of lightly hit your arms, hit the top of your legs. That's not going to cover it. The amount of sunscreen that you need for your f body that is not covered with clothing is going to be the amount of a shot glass. And I use that example because that's a good visual. Everybody's pretty familiar with that. We've all at least seen one, if not used one at the beach especially. But, you know, that's the amount that you're going to need. So that's a good amount, you know. This is one of the few times where a dab is not going to do you. You really need to fully get covered. And then when you do apply it, nobody likes to look streaky or filmy. So people tend to use the chemical blocks versus the physical blocks. Now the physical blocks are gonna be titanium and um, zinc. And those do, those are immediate coverage. That's what you think of, you know, the surfer stripe on, or the, 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 the lifeguard stripe on the nose. Those are going to be immediate coverage. But for the other ones that most people like to use that don't leave any streaky coverage or any chalky film, those are going to be chemical. And you have to put those on 30 minutes before you go into the sun. And you have to actually rub that in all over your body because what happens is your skin needs to absorb it. And when the skin absorbs it, that's when you get your full protection. Other than that, it's basically immediately coming off in the water or immediately being sweated off and you've lost your protection from the sunblock. Another thing is whether you're uh, in a swimsuit or whether you're doing outdoor activities or you're just running around doing your everyday routine, if you're using sunscreen, are you fully covering all the exposed areas? As we move and we shift, especially if we're wearing short sleeve shirts, you've got to make sure that you get up underneath, you know, the coverage of the fabric a little bit, especially for shorts or maybe short skirts, make sure you get high enough on your legs to, to cover so that when you sit down and your, your pants naturally rise or as you're walking and moving around and your, your, your clothes shift, that there's not an area that's going to be exposed because that's another thing that I commonly see on vacation are people with what I call the overlap burns. Everything else looks fine and is, and is covered, but there's this little stripe across the top of their leg or the back of their leg or the side of their leg where they missed getting uh, covered by their shorts. And, uh, and again, you know, sun damage is cumulative, so you need to make sure everything is protected. The other thing too is, do you reapply? A lot of people think that once is enough. You put it on, you've got a good quality sunscreen, it's 30 SPF, broad spectrum or higher. And so they think they're completely and totally covered. But the truth is, even if it's water resistant and sweat resistant, that only lasts for 80 minutes. After that time, you're gonna have to start reapplying. And that may be where you have more than one sunscreen, especially one for your face. If you like one with a little bit of tint to give you a little bit of coverage while you're out and you don't have any makeup on, and then even one for your body. So whether it's you know your tennis, uh, hiking, at the beach, swimming, 
you know, hanging out with friends uh, on your patio, you know, having a barbecue. Make sure that every 80 minutes you're reapplying because that's the time limit on these things. Um, which one should you use? Again, that's personal preference. You know, there are people who have allergies or there are people who, uh, you know, like I said, like the titanium or the zinc uh, physical blocks because they work instantaneously or they like them better for small children versus some of the chemical blocks that people are using. But as long as it's SPF 30 or higher and broad spectrum. A couple of the sunblocks uh, I personally prefer are this Neova DNA Sun Damage Control. I like this, especially being a woman, because it gives me a sheer amount of color and coverage. And half the time when I'm just running around town doing daily errands, I just use this as my makeup. And it's good for my face, my neck, and my decollete. It gives me a nice finish. I feel a little bit, you know, less self-conscious about how my skin appears. And this too, I can reapply. It's not like, you know, when you're wearing makeup poolside or, you know, at whatever outdoor event that you're in, you can slip into the restroom or, you know, under your uh, beach umbrella and reapply this to your face and not have to worry about it caking or looking awful or running or streaking. Men, they're not worried about dewy, sunny complexions. So they tend to like this matte sun shield by Obagi. It's 50 SPS proof and it's uh, broad spectrum. It gives them a nice matte finish. They don't like to look shiny or oily or greasy. So that's one of the really good benefits about this, especially for men, is getting them something that they will actually use. So basically, there's many choices of sunscreen out there here at Contour. We have many in our online store that are, you know, sure to fit your needs uh, no matter what they are or whether it's daily or for activities uh, or maybe a specific vacation event that you're going for and you'll be out in the sun quite a bit for that but come look at our online store or come into our uh, offices and we have estheticians and nurse practitioners that are more than capable of helping you figure out what your skincare needs are so I hope these tips will help you to not forget your daily sunscreen, wear it every day, and if you can see it, back of your hands, face, neck, ears, then it needs to be covered. Thank you.